they know what's best for us, what we should or shouldn't do with our bodies if we quote unquote value them. They know that. They know that labeling us sluts marks us as easy targets for sexual violence. Who would come to the defense of a slut? Why would anyone bother? If we don't play by their rules, why should they care about our bodies or our lives? This is not hyperbole. In Manitoba this year, a judge refused to sentence a convicted rapist to a single day of jail time because his victim had worn a tank top and high heels and seemed inviting. Ah! This was after the rapist admitted in open court that he told his victim that his violation of her would only hurt for a little while. When two young Swedish women accused WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange of sexual assault, Fuck him! He voluntarily invited her in with them. Blogger Robert Stacey McCain said, You buy your ticket, you take the ride. <laughs> when an 11 year old girl was gang raped in Texas by 18 grown men, Fuck the New York Times found it relevant to report on how much makeup she was wearing. <laughs> serial killer loose on Long Island and Pete police aren't doing fuck all about it because he's mostly killing sex workers. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> the word slut is an act of violence, not just metaphorically. It gives permission to rape us and the person who wields us doesn't have to lift a finger. It sends a signal. This one is fair game. Have at her. No one will blame you. Which is why when a Toronto cop told a group of law students at York University that the best way to avoid getting raped was not to dress like a slut, the people of Toronto took to the streets. enjoyed sex, if our clothes aren't made of burlap, if we're women of color, we're assumed to be sluts because before we do a single thing because we're exotic, if we're fat or disabled or otherwise considered undesirable, we're assumed to be sluts who'll fuck anyone who'll deign to want us. Whoa! If we're queer boys, yeah, or we're trans women, we're in order to punish us for not fearing the feminine. If we're queer women, especially fem ones, anything as opposed to actually attracted to actual women. If we're poor, we're gold diggers who will use sex to get ahead. And God forbid any of us accuse someone of raping us. That's the fast track to sluthood because it's much easier to tell us what we did wrong to make someone commit a felony, violent crime against us than it is to deal with the actual felon. <laughs> And it's bullshit. <laughs> but there's also a phrase for it, and it is social license to operate. What that means is this. We know that a huge majority of rapes are perpetrated by a small minority of guys who do it again and again. You know why they're able to rape an average of six times each? Because they have social license to operate. In other words, because we let them. Because as a society, we say, oh, well, what did she expect would happen if she went back to his room? What did she expect would happen walking around by herself in that neighborhood? What did she expect would happen dressed like a slut? You know what I expect to happen when I'm dressed like a slut? People will want to get with me. <laughs> you know what I don't mean when I dress like a slut? That anyone I encounter can literally do anything at all they want to me. I know, it's shocking, because clearly you found me wearing my tits out like this, because every single one of you carte blanche to do anything, whatever you might want to do with my body, and I'm very sorry to disappoint you. <laughs> I don't mean to make light of this. I just want to point out how ridiculous 
ridiculous it all sounds when you spell out the meaning of she was asking for it. Because the Where rapists are, are not confused. Those tiny percentage of guys doing most of the I know, raping, I, I, they I, told I, researchers I, they know full I, well they don't have consent. It's the rest of us that seem confused. We're the ones who let them off with a little boys will be boys shrug and focus our venom on sluts instead, leaving those boys free to rape again and again and again. Oh. That means every time we blame a slut for her own violation, we're not only hurting her, we're creating a world with more rapists in it for all of us to live in. No more. We are all, every single beautiful one of you, we are here to testify that this ends today. It ends because there is truly nothing, nothing you can do to make someone raping you your fault. It ends because calling other people sluts may make you feel safer, but it doesn't actually keep you safer. It ends because not one more of us will tolerate being violated and blamed for it. And it ends because all of this slut shaming does more than just, less than just the violence of rape. As if that weren't enough. The violent threat of slut shaming also keeps us afraid of our bodies and our desires. It makes us feel like we're wrong and dirty and bad and yes, very, very unsafe when all we want is to enjoy the incredible pleasure that our bodies are capable of. That ongoing robbery of the gorgeous potential of our souls, that ends today, too. Because the secret truth nobody wants you to know, is using nearly any definition, is that there's nothing wrong with being a slut. <laughs> Yeah.